Today, we're talking about the best neighborhoods in Northwest Colorado Springs, and we're getting to it right now. Oh! <laughs> I'm Clay. And I'm Jacob. And we're the Martin Brothers. We're doing these videos every week about what it's like to live in Colorado Springs. So check out what it's like to live in Northwest Colorado Springs. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll know whenever we drop our newest video. And if you have any recommendations for videos that you want to see in the future, go below in the comments and hit us up. Let us know what videos that you would like us to do and we will definitely check them out. All right, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite areas in Colorado Springs and that's Northwest Colorado Springs. So that area is located just north of Garden of the Gods Road and I-25. So it's tucked away, kind of butted up against the mountains, um, just south of where the Air Force Academy property is. Um, and it's a really great area because there's not a lot of shopping and retail. And so you kind of get uh, the benefits of what like a small town would be, that small town living within Colorado Springs, but you're super close to the interstate and basically anywhere that you would need to be. All right, so we're gonna be highlighting five of our favorite neighborhoods in Colorado Springs. And the first one is where we're at right now, Pinion Valley Park in the Pinion Valley neighborhood. Pinion Valley belongs to the D11 school district, which is a great school district. They have a lot of great elementary school, middle schools, and high schools. Um, as far as living in Pinion Valley, you can expect to pay anywhere from the low 300 to the high 400, with the average sales price sitting at right around $380,000. One of the best things about living in Pinion Valley is that you have access to this beautiful park, Pinion Valley Park. The grass is green, the playground's fun for the kids to play on, and it's right at the base of Ute Valley Park. And Ute Valley Park is miles and miles of trails for you to hike, mountain bike, and just get out and play. It feels like you're stranded in the wilderness, but really you're minutes away from your front door if you live here in Pinion Valley Park. Cut. You an ice cream? Be sure to check out the U Valley video and Best Heights of Colorado Springs to learn more about U Valley Park. Next on our list is Mountain Shadows. So if you live in Colorado Springs, chances are you already know about Mountain Shadows. If you're coming from outside of Colorado Springs, you definitely got to check it out as a possibility. It's an absolutely awesome neighborhood in the Northwest, tucked right up against the foothills. It's very established. There's a little over 1,700 homes in all the mountain shadows. And those prices range from the low 400s all the way up to the 900s, with the average sales price being around $535,000. Um, mountain Shadows has a wonderful elementary school in D11, tucked right in the heart of the community. That's called Chapit Elementary. That's where my daughters went to school and they had a fabulous time with it. I was very happy with that school as their parent. Um, you've got Mountain Shadows Park. You're close to lots of trails and um, you're probably only, I don't know, half a mile from where we are here in Pinion Valley. So you still have really close access to this, this awesome park and then also Ute Valley, which is over 500 acres of open space and trails for people to enjoy. So definitely check out Mountain Shadows. And into District 20, District 20, but the average sales price Stop. over in. Hey guys, this is the third or fourth time that this freaking ice cream truck is driven by. <laughs> and uh, it's been, while I've been talking, I've had to start over. And uh, we're not going to show you the clip, but I just threw a fit. I feel like she might be harassing me. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about the Oak Hills neighborhood. Oak Hills is not too far from where we're standing. And it's located between Centennial and Rock Rim and Boulevard. And uh, homes over there start in the mid 400s, and the average sales price being about $550,000. Oak Hills is also where we crossed over the imaginary line into a different school district here in the Northwest, and that's District 20. District 20 is one of the most highly sought after school districts here in Colorado Springs. All right, and next on our list is Rock Rimmon. So Rock Rimmon is a super cool established neighborhood that sits right off Rock Rimmon Boulevard. And those homes start in the high 300s and average sales price for that area is around $430,000. Um, with Rock Rimmon, you're super close to the interstate. 
um, so you can move around the city pretty pretty easily. Um, cool neighborhood with, you know, it's kind of like set on different sets of hills. So you've got different terrain. Um, most of those houses were built in the uh, like late 70s, early 80s. So there's some cool, unique architecture and like front facing of the houses. Um, I like it quite a bit. Also in D20. So again, um, you're in one of the most highly sought after school districts in the entire city and your feeder schools for middle school and high school for that area are gonna be Eagle View for middle school and then Air Academy, which is on the Air Force Base for high school. All right guys, last but most certainly not least is Paragon. Paragon is a neighborhood that I take people on a tour of just to show them uh, the houses in that area and the landscape of that area. Paragon butts right up to the Air Force Academy in the northernmost point of Northwest Colorado Springs. And homes in that area start in the mid 400, but they top out all the way at million dollar plus, all right? And the average sales price in Paragon is roughly $600,000. Some of those homes are gonna be massive. Some of them are gonna be new builds, but it's such a cool place to live. Uh, behind Paragon, you got Blodgett Peak, which is a phenomenal hike here in the Northwest. Hard, but phenomenal. Hard, but phenomenal. But uh, one of the coolest things about Paragon is it has easy access to I-25 via Woodman Road. Uh, probably takes you five, six, seven minutes, depending on where you're located in Paragon to get to I-25. And the Air Force Academy is literally just minutes away. All right, and Paragon is also a part of the D20 school district. So not only do you have nice homes, you're also gonna have nice schools uh, living in that area. As you know, we are full-time realtors. So we're super familiar with all that Colorado Springs has to offer. And if you are looking to move to Colorado Springs and you have questions about the area or real estate, give us a shout. Call us, text us, come knock on his door. <laughs> Go ahead. Give us a shout and we would love to help you out. We got your back through the entire process. As always, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Leave a comment if you got value or if you want us to do a video that you're interested in. Hey guys, we'll be back in a couple of days dropping a new video, so be sure to tune in. We'll talk to you then. Bye.